What's coming out in comic shops this week? Let's take a look. Let's start with Image Comics. They've got Copra, number six, coming out this week. It's a new story arc. They got Nailbiter Returns, number one, Josh Williamson horror comic book. I haven't really been reading it that much, but I hear great things about it. Paul is Dead. I'm very excited to check this out. It's a graphic novel that is taking the idea of put the you know remember Paul McCartney is dead. It was like a conspiracy theory. So it's a it's a graphic novel about that kind of world, and that sounds really cool to me. It's got amazing artwork in it. If you look at some of the preview images, Postal Deliverance number eight, Reaver number eight, and the Ride Burning Desire trade paperback from Dark Horse. Critical Role, Vox Machina Origin, Series 2, number 6, the final issue of that, makes its way this week. Everything comes out in Trade Paperback, Volume 1. That's a really cool book. So is Strayed. <coughs> Excuse me. That was a really cool book. Fight Club 3, the hardcover comes out. We'll soon be home again. I'm hearing some rumblings about this. The testimonies of six real survivors of the Holocaust are portrayed in comics, illustrating the persecutions in the ghetto, the dehumanization in the concentration camps, and the industrial-scale mass murder taking place in the extermination camps. I hear really good things about that stuff. From IDW, we've got G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 271, Ragnarok, The Breaking of Helheim, number 5, Star Trek, year 5, number 11, look at that up. Beautiful cover right there. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We'll skip over the big two real quick. From Dynamite, we only have Boys, Dear Becky. So if you're a Boys fan, they're returning. So check that out. It's written by Garth Ennis. Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, The Death of Nancy Drew, number one. That's from Dynamite. From Boom Studios, we've got Buffy, Every Generation, number one. That's a one-shot comic book. Very excited. And we got Red Mother, number five. With some amazing covers. Plus, look, a trade paperback of Red Mother in case you missed out on Volume 1. Red Mother's a fantastic book and I love it. Let's look at some of the other series out. Backtrack number three. That's a great series from Oni Press where these people get kidnapped and forced to do a race, a, a car race through time. Lots of fun with that. Finger Guns number two from Vault Comics. I read this already it's available digital already um but i read number two and number three and this book just keeps getting better and better dragon whisperer number two from red five gung-ho number four from a blaze the headless trade paperback from scout's got some great coloring in that book kids number three from a blaze that's been a great book north bend number two from scout comics we actually got some advanced reviews for scout comics coming up on the channel soon Robin Hood Vigilante, number six. Sabrina Something Wicked, number one. I've read this already because it released digital on like April 1st or something, and it was really solid. It's basically Kelly Thompson continuing her Sabrina run, and I really liked it. And Wretches, number five. Let's go to the big two. You can find all this information at Previews World. It's updated now. From DC Comics, they're getting more into the swing of things. We got Action Comics 1022. And look, apparently the variant's the same cover. <laughs> what? It's a Perillo variant, so definitely you want to check that one out. Aquaman number 59, the A cover's finally going to drop. Batman Superman number 9. Oh, that's a beautiful variant right there. Catwoman number 22. The Birds of Prey, which was originally going to be a Birds of Prey series. Then it was going to be a Birds of Prey uh, DC Black Label series. Then it was going to be, now it's just a one-shot. What? Just a one-shot. <laughs> But it's out. The Catwoman 80th Anniversary 100-page Super Spectacular Special is out with a myriad of covers. I think I'm either going to get the Art Germ 80s or the uh, uh, Del Auto uh, 90s cover. I'm probably going to get that 90s cover. That's fire. I also really like the main cover by Joelle Jones. Let's see. Detective Comics 1022 with a great Lee Bermejo uh, Two-Face cover. For the uh, variant, Far Sector returns with issue number six. John Constantine Hellblazer number six. Shazam number 12, which as we talked about in the weekly pop culture wrap-up, is not the finale of Jeff Johns' run. It's a, it's, a, it's a story that's just kind of fit in the middle of it. It's by Jeff Lo Loveness, which is cool, but 
you got to wait till issue 13 to get that double size finale of the Jeff Johns run. Wonder Woman 756 is out this week. The Last God uh, source book, number one. And for Marvel, no new actual floppy comic books, just some graphic novels. You got Amazing Mary Jane, volume one. You got an omnibus edition of of Astonishing X Men by Whedon. Um, I expect to see a lot of posts about that in the Jim Mint. Uh, group Geminites on Facebook, Ghost Rider Volume 1, the recent series, Mephisto, which they're going to be collecting up some uh, key Mephisto books. Um, you got X-Men by Jonathan Hickman Volume 1, Spider-Man and Venom, Double Trouble, the graphic novel, and the Sensational She-Hulk by John Byrne Omnibus. So that's really cool. I might actually have to get this one. I might actually have to get that one. So there you go. That's what's coming out in comic shops this week.